What's going on everybody? You know it is your boy Earl, Floors Magazine, DVD. We coming straight out of the sweetest, sweetest day that we had on this Saturday. I'm standing here with the beautiful Miss Tangerine. She's gonna let us know what's going on tonight. Let us know about the models. Let us know about the festivities. Let us know how it's gonna be popping off. We're gonna see how it gets done. How you doing, beautiful? I'm fine, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. So let the people know what's going on, who you are, you know what you're about, you know what I'm saying, what it is you do. But this is all about behind the scenes. We're talking to all our people who, you know, want to get into this game, they want to be coordinated, they want to be stylist. But you know, we don't always get informed of that, you know, it's hard to find out. So we're going to edutain our people, you know what I'm saying? We're going to edutain them because it's up to us to make sure our people know what it is. You know? Okay, I'm Tan Dream, CEO of Foreign Body Modeling. I'm fashion coordinator tonight for this event. All the models that you see here are provided by Foreign Body Modeling. Also, I have some interns here from my high school that's basically learning the, the ins and outs of this business. They're learning how to put together shows, how to build rapport and relationships with important people in the industry that can help them in the future to benefit themselves as to you know become business owners and not just a model, not just a pretty face, but to learn how to make your money work for you in the future. Basically, I started out modeling and I decided to be my own boss. And, you know, I did the hospital thing, I did the working thing, the 9 to 5 to 40 hours, and I said, you know what, let me do something that I enjoy and actually get compensated for doing it. And exactly. So I started from there and I said, let's just start this modeling agency, Foreign Body Modeling, because like New York City, you know, my modeling agency is a melting pot of various ethnic backgrounds, beautiful women of various shapes and sizes for anything, for runway, commercial work, special events, what have you. But also, I have like a walking instructor, I have photographers, so we really teach these girls. We take them out of the community, give them outlets to express their talent, and we teach them. And like I said, we put them out there and we let them just blossom. So we're really giving back to the community. It's not just pretty faces, it's not just learn to walk, but it's really learning how to build your own business and to be your own boss, because it pays. That's, and that's what it's about. You know that we talk about at home, you know, on the Urban Wall Street project. You know, we talk about it with floors. It's all about, you know, building your own, having your own, creating your own, teaching our own. It's a beautiful thing and I'm happy to see it. This is actually Tasha. Yeah, right. to Tasha, say hi to I'm fine. How are you doing? Tasha, so you're modeling tonight? She's modeling tonight? Yeah, she's, well, you know, I teach my girls to be multi-talented. So not only is she a model, but she's a designer wearing her own piece. Yes, that's hot. Can you show, can you show? Wow. You want to see that, Alan? That looks hot. That's her own piece, ladies and gentlemen. She's not just modeling, she designed it. That's beautiful, that's what's up. Creativity right there. That's the creativity of Floss Magazine. That's how she's flossing. So tell me, yeah, tell me the inspiration behind your line. Tell me the inspiration behind your line and this dress. First, I draped it. Um, I bought fabric, and I draped it on a mannequin, and it just came to me. Because I like, you know, unique stuff, stuff that I never saw before in the stores and everything. So I just started draping and cutting, and. You know, I like how it's short in the front and long in the back, and like the layers and everything like that. That's hot, that's hot. So have you always wanted to be a fashion designer, or did it just kind of, you just realized it was a talent you had, and you just, you know, you executed on the discovery? In high school, right? Um, I started to cut up clothes, and you know, sew it, and then make it my own thing, you know? So, it, was, it started in high school, but I always loved fashion, my mother, she's like the, a great inspiration for me because ever since we was young, she always told us like dress a certain way and everything like that. So my mother was my inspiration. So are you from New York? Yeah, I'm from New York. Oh, BK in the house, you know what it is? And BK, that's what it is. Not to mention, we have some very extravagant pieces from Versailles. And if you're familiar with Versailles, you know that every celebrity, when they want to look hot and they want to turn heads, Anywhere they go, you go to Versailles Boutique. And they were so wonderful to provide pieces tonight. As you can see, as you look around, this model right here, I, I want to actually bring her because... Bring her over. Hi, how are you? I'm Eva. Hi, Eva, nice to meet you. Hi, Eva, nice to meet you. 
All right, that's a beautiful thing. Alan, you got a good shot of Eva. You got a good shot of Eva. pieces from Versailles. As you can see, very extravagant, very elegant, very like, you, you walk out this and you just feel fabulous. Just because it, it speaks for itself. So this is a beautiful thing. So let the people know, you know, who you are. Right now I'm in school uh, for psychology and I want to go later into speech, speech pathology. And right now modeling to, you know, later on as a stepping stone to, you know, meet the right people so I can open my own business one day. Now let the whole world, what's your name? Now let the whole world know your name. Eva. Eva Diva. Eva Diva. Uh oh, you better watch it. It's about to be serious. Eva. People, you know what it is. We still backstage at the All White Affair, Floss Magazine, Fashion Show. It's amazing, amazing August night. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. We have a lot of beautiful people, but right now I got a very talented young brother next to me. Brother name is Clarence. He's gonna let you know what it is. Got a company, D Visions, designer. It's really a serious situation. I'm pleased to meet him. My brother, how are you, sir? Fine, big brother. How are you, man? Good. So tell the people about D Visions. What's the, what's the inspiration behind D Visions? Yeah, D Visions basically. It's letting people know that we have a vision on the market that we're just trying to swoop through and grab the new customers and new buyers and creating a new mindset. So we are visionaries at the division. Our DNA is definitely artistic, craft worthy. Um, we don't miss a beat when it comes down to color waves. We make sure that the hood is correct, but at the same time, those brothers who definitely want to just go out after work and be real slick and sleek and looking real neat. So that's why we came out with the intellect line. The intellect line is a more European cut and a real good look for those cats in LA. You know, those cats that want to do the denim with the jeans and all that, that the baggy fit and all that. So we came out with intellect. We doing the bonehead for the little urban skateboarders and all that. We, we skateboarding and stuff now. Yeah. Man, it's crazy right now. So people keep saying that the bonehead and all that is, is out, out the window and all that, but it's depending on how creative you make it, you know? And my whole thing with the bonehead line is taking us to areas where we wasn't able to get, say, last year when we were just doing regular denim and tees. So we then be doing the Illuminati line, um, which we got the theme from the Dan Brown, which is Earth, Air, Fire, and Water. All right. You know, with this earth, air, fire, and water, we did a hoodie that's that's that, that's that's going with the T directly. That line is called Illuminati. We got it's like the, it's like the division coat. It's like you got the divinity coat. We got the division division coat. We're doing the denim and jeans, the tees and all that with the Illuminati line, which is a real good look. And we're just trying to make sure we got everybody covered on all aspects of fashion. You know? Yeah, that's hot. That's hot. So how long? So how how new is the company? How long you been out here putting your thing out? You know how how you doing it? Because we letting our young people know. You know when before you go into, I want you to give all the young people watching, you know, one sound word of advice. You know, we all we all got a story to tell. And we all have something valuable to share with the next person. So let them know before you we go into it and talk a little bit about deep business. One sound word of advice for the people that's coming up that have a vision like yourself and they want to see it manifest. Don't give up. It's all right. You know what it is. It's your boy Earl, Force Magazine, DVD. It's amazing. We're backstage for the All Water Fair. I'm sitting with another talented sister. She's going to let you know who she is, what it is that she do, how she flosses, and the inspiration behind the way she flosses. How you doing, my sister? Let the people know who you are. Hello, my name is Michelle White. I'm a celebrity stylist in the Manhattan area. So what's, so what's the inspiration behind your, behind your talent? Whatever's hot right now, whatever's on the runway, whatever's on the videos, whatever's on TV, everything. How long have you been doing your thing? Ten years. Ten years? Mm -hmm. What do you enjoy most? What, what? What do you enjoy the most? Just being creative, any way I can express my creativity. I'm a hairstylist, I do clothes, makeup, you know, a little bit of everything. So is this your design or you just representing somebody no, else? I don't have anything on tonight that I did, but you know, I do a little bit of everything. 
So, so you know, the, another thing that we do besides entertain our young brothers and sisters is the Urban Wall Street Project collaboration. Another thing we do with our people is to educate them as well as entertain them. So for all individuals coming up, young stylists, young designers, ladies are looking at you and like, wow, I, I emulate her. I want to be just like what she does. Give them one sound piece of advice that they can really follow that's going to really help them manifest what they want to do here. You have to like never give up. If you give up, you know, because it's always going to be people to tell you that your art is not what you think it is. You have to never give up. You have to go get education yourself. You can't wait for somebody else to bring the education to you. You know, hair school can only take you for so far. The stuff that I do has nothing to do with hair school. I had to get my hair school thing over and then go to other things. So you understand what it is? A lot of things you can do. Get yourself together, practice, practice, prepare yourself. You know, be a little, be, 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 be about everything. Get your hands on everything. Know the whole industry, because you never know when that big opportunity will come. I want to thank you, my sister, for talking to the people tonight. All right, you too, love. Speaking of talented individual, I'm standing with a young lady, a queen, who's a talent in her own right. She's a stylist. She's going to let you know who she is, why she does what she's doing, how long she's been doing. How you doing, sister? I'm doing good. So, you, know, you know, this is the floor's DVD for the magazine. We're doing it backstage, showing people how to do it, talking to young designers, young stylists coming up that really want to become future stylists and designers or be in the position that you are. And we just, you know, give them sound advice, and then we talk about what inspires you to do what you do. So first, we give them some sound advice with somebody following in your footsteps, and a little, a little bit of inspiration behind why you do what you do. The inspiration between what, I, what, it, what it is that I want to do is basically just being focused and knowing what it is you want in life. And no matter what, obstacles come your way, just knowing that's what you want. And the only person who can stop you from doing that is you. And so pretty much the only thing that was my inspiration was me knowing that I had a purpose in life and also using my talents. I think that if you are blessed with certain talents, you need to use question, you understand that. And how long have you been using your talent? I've been using my talent for the past year, year and a half. I just started my own clothing line, Fever Couture, a couple of months ago. And I think that in this game, in order to survive or even to keep maintaining, you got to have a mentality that this is what you want to do. And no matter what obstacles come your way, you got to keep going. So the, my advice to everybody is no matter what it is you go through, no matter how hard it is, how many people don't like your shit or whatever the case may be, it's not up to them to decide who you're going to be and life is up to you. So you got to keep doing what it is you do because only you can, you know, just summon your path. So. so let them know, tell them who you are because you dropped a lot of little gems and a lot of little bombs and jewels and some science on them, but then you can let them know who you are, sweetie, what's your name? My name is Howard Johnson, everybody knows me by Nikki. She's flossing. She's flossing real hard right now. You understand what it is? You're doing it real big. So you're going to see it. And, and you're a stylist. So you did some styling for the people tonight, right? Yeah, I did a little bit for the people here. So, you know, when you see them looking good on the runway, you see them looking just right. That's because of one right here. But I was just helping just the um, stylist here, Chris, she's doing her thing. So I'm sitting here supporting her with what she does. You know what it is, Lost Magazine, Backstage, More Wide Affair, the fashion show is about to be amazing. You see the people, you see the talent, you see everything going on backstage, it's amazing. So we got a beautiful, beautiful model in the house, she's doing her thing. Let them know who you are, sweetie, how long you been modeled? Hi, my name is Jadita, and I'm a model slash assistant designer with my friend here, Haru. And I just do a little of everything, designing, fashion, hair, art, you name it, I'm there. So how long you been doing your thing? Um, for about five years. 
So you know, it's all about educating our people in urban America because they want to know how to do it and they want to make sure they do it the right way. Can you give us one positive sound piece of advice for any young individuals that want to be stylists, designers, or models coming up behind you? Um, just keep doing what you're doing. Don't let no one stop you and just believe in yourself and you'll make it. Are you my brother, one word for the positive people out there? Yeah, I want. Yeah, you just gotta stay focused, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta stay focused. You gotta stay alert in this time. You know what I'm saying? I got another talented, you know, designer in the house. He gonna let you know who he is, what it is that he does. He walk with us a little bit. How you doing, my brother? See you on the scene, looking real smooth. So uh, let me know about your styles that was out here tonight. Let the people know who you are. You know what's behind the scenes for us, DVD. We recognizing the talent. We recognizing people getting it in and getting their creativity popping. Let them know how you floss, brother. All right. Well, my name is uh, B H O. Brown. I designed swimwear and upscale clothing for both men and women. And you can see more of my stuff at uh, dreyardiartistry.com. That's D R E Y A R D I artistry.com. So, so, how long you been doing what you're doing? Well, about 10 years now. Okay. So, you know, a lot of things we'll be talking about, it's all about educating our people, you know what I'm saying? we got to let them know how to do it. There's a lot of individuals that's coming up behind you. They want to be stylists. They want to be a designer. They have dreams. One sound word of advice for the people coming up. For. Well, uh, it's not hard. It's, uh, I mean, it's not easy. I mean, it's, uh, it's hard. I mean, you have to, first of all, have a foundation. You gotta have a plan first of all. You know, lay your, your your plan down, your blueprint, and then start from there. You know, you're gonna meet, you know, you know, rocky roads. You know, it's hit or miss sometimes with these things. There's a lot of competition out there, but you know, once you have, you know, I mean, a solid plan, it should be all right. So then it is. We talk about it. You gotta have a plan. You gotta be solid with it. You gotta be ready for it. I wanna thank you, my brother. Continue success with your line and all the things that you're doing, and I'll be blessed. All right, keep flossing, brother. You know what it is. Flossing magazine.